This is another Intel Hub special report brought to you by theintelhub.com. In the midst of a horrific earthquake and tsunami, Japan is on the edge as the world awaits word on the status of the Fukushima nuclear power plant. In the immediate days after the disaster, the corporate media covered the situation 24-7. Experts appeared on the mainstream networks with warnings about the radiation danger and possible exposure in highly populated areas such as Tokyo. Then almost on cue, the United Nations imposed a no-fly zone over Libya and coverage of the Japanese nuclear disaster went from information overload to almost nothing. It was noted early on that radiation readings around the Fukushima nuclear power plant were under survey. In fact, that remains today. Not being able to tell the exact readings in the areas has caused, whether necessary or not, widespread panic. The Iberarchy Prefecture seems to be the closest area that has actual readings, and in the last few hours, they have risen significantly according to targetmap.com. Again, these readings are coming from targetmap.com, a website that seems to have access to data from multiple monitoring stations. Another radiation monitoring website run by the Disaster Prevention and Nuclear Safety Network for Nuclear Environment has the levels in the Ibaraki Prefecture slightly lower, but still high. Why the levels differ so much remains to be seen. What do these readings mean to the Fukushima area and Japan as a whole? Stay tuned and follow theintelhub.com for more late-breaking news and analysis. I'm Shepard Ambellis.